So the government has stepped in and bailed out Silicon Valley Bank, but that doesn't necessarily mean the banking crisis or the overall issues are done. So basically, there's two main things that are going on here where trust in the banking system is now being questioned. And we're seeing that with lines from First Republic Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, and a lot of other banks, especially regional banks, were getting crushed in the stock market yesterday. And that's just because basically... And that's the whole reason the government stepped in and bailed out Silicon Valley Bank, even though they said they weren't likely going to. It's because if trust in the banking system fails, it's bad. Basically, the whole banking system in and of itself fails. So the government's trying to reinforce and you know like, restabilize the trust in the banking system. But there's another issue here: is basically when the government goes in, you know, covers deposits. Well, they can't just make that money out of thin air. Well, I guess they can, but basically they have to print money to be able to do that. They don't necessarily have that money just there, ready to insure these deposits. So what that means is basically the government prints more money to bail all these banks, which then exacerbates the issue because the government prints money, which you know ultimately creates more inflation, which then the Federal Reserve has to go ahead and raise interest rates to prevent further inflation. Then it causes the same exact bond issues that caused the Silicon Valley Bank issue in the first place. Because interest rates go up, bond values go down, and a lot of these banks uh, have major deposits and things like U.S. Treasuries, which are you know very impacted by uh, inflation rate or well, inflation and also the interest rate in the market. So, long story short, they protect Silicon Valley Bank, which was basically deemed too big to fail, but. The next bank that is in the same situation could be a small regional bank that you know the government that doesn't care about because there's not enough voting power there or whatever reason they ultimately decide that Silicon Valley Bank was too big to fail. But basically, so we could start seeing other banks collapse, which could again lead to the same you know, question of faith in the banking system. Which if, again, if that faith in the banking system dissipates. Well, you're going to see much, much bigger issues because the, the world revolves around the banking system. And if that fails, you know, we could see the collapse of the U.S. dollar and some very bad things, which, so hopefully that's not the case. But, you know, these are the things that, you know, do happen in these extreme scenarios. And so it's going to definitely be paying attention to it. I think this is one of the biggest stories we've seen in, the, in a decade. So definitely pay attention to it. And, you know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Cheers.